Hey everyone, so uh, this is how to perform the fecal occult blood test uh, sample cards, the testing on the sample cards. So when you give the cards to the patient, you will give them the instructions, usually a set of written instructions, and most of the time the patients will get three cards. Um, you're going to have them complete their demographic information on all three cards, and typically the samples have to be taken from three separate days of stool samples and so you only want them to complete the information here um, and then they will place a thin smear on the inside boxes of these um, a and b squares and so it's a very very small very thin smear uh, the important part with collecting the stool samples is to make sure that it is as free from urine contamination as possible. Most of the time patients will be able to accomplish that by placing a urine hat backwards on the uh, toilet stool and collecting their uh, stool specimen into the urine hat and then taking a um, small sample from there. Otherwise, they some, stu some patients will have, or students uh, in our case, will have luck using saran wrap over the toilet bowl um, or other um, uh, methods to kind of catch the stool and try to keep it separate from the urine. Okay, so once you get the cards back, you have uh, to make sure that the card has all of the appropriate information on it, and again, that there's just a thin smear on the card. Then, you wanna close the front, you're going to remove the back of this card, uh, the, the little flip up window here. You can either flip it up or you can take it all the way off, whatever you wanna do. And what we do then is to develop this test, we first place two drops of this developer. Um, and this is the developer that comes in the box with the cards, uh, the test kit, the cards. It's the fecal occult blood test developer. We're gonna place two drops of this developer on each of these squares. So on the A square and the B square, you can tell A, B. So one drop, two, one, two. And then we place one to two drops between the monitor boxes. So right between that positive and negative sign, we just put a couple of drops there as well. Then we wait uh, one to two minutes and then we'll read the results. So I can tell you right now that these uh, results here on the A and B squares are gonna be negative because that is actually chocolate uh, from my Starbucks coffee, my Frappuccino. Um, but what we wanna watch for here in our case is for this little positive box to turn kind of a teal blue color, indicating a positive result. Now, if this patient, uh, if this was actually stool, and this patient had any type of undetectable to the naked eye blood or occult blood in their stool, then this would show up with a blue ring around it very much uh, the same color as this positive result here. And so that's what we're looking for. And that is how you do the uh, fecal occult testing.